Hey guys, so what is the worst piece of TCG financial advice I have ever seen? Well, surprising no one, it was given by Alpha Investments, and surprising no one, it was MetaZoo related. So, about two to three months before the absolute collapse of MetaZoo, uh, he made a video saying native is a hundred plus a box. Now, I've confirmed that's not true. People say, oh, you're, you're nickel and diming him, but, you know, $100 is $100, right? So three months ago, he says, unbelievable, all caps, native holds 100 plus in a bear market. And then he's got his little TCG thumbnail, you know, and yeah, it was, first of all, it was not $100 plus at the time that he made the recording of the video, which I have documented on my end. And he have been pumping up the native. Uh, supposedly, they have these cards called dual lands. Well, if you had to guess, what is native today, 90 days later? What If you bought native for $100 a box, what could you sell native for? Like, you bought a box, now you want it's time to sell. You, you waited 90 days on it. Then I, I would even argue we can look at this 180 days from now. We can look at this a year from now the numbers are probably going to get even uglier. So he's doing his little native box opening for a Patreon. Luckily, this is not him. This is for a Patreon. And, you know, I mean, let's leave it in the comments. I'm going to give you time. Leave in the comments below what you think a box of native on eBay sells for <coughs> around today. Because I can hint, hint, it's not $100. I have never seen the collapse of a product this fast. Now, arguably, you know, some of that, if not a lot of that, is due to mismanagement from the owner, Mike Waddell. But at the same time, he already knows. Like, if anyone knows Mike Waddell, and if anyone has that relationship where you make a phone call and see, hey, what's, what's, what's going on with my promo cards, it would be, I mean, no one has more power in investigating this than, remember, like, he always says, oh, I got sources in Hasbro. I have sources in the Wizard of the Coast, and they're sending me emails. Well, I wonder if uh, these people still have jobs today because a lot of these employees at Hasbro and Wizard of the Coast don't have jobs, and I would imagine sending company emails on company time to a evil investor, Rudy, who is threatened to take over their company and has made very bad remarks to about Hasbro management, including... Cynthia Williams and Chris Cox, right? I, I imagine that person would be the first person. If they were real, I don't believe that is real. They are real. I would, but if they were real, they would be the first person fired once the they see the emails and it's like, oh, well, <laughs> hey, you don't really like me, do you? All right, you can go home today. Don't come back. Yes, if you said that it would be $63, you would be correct. Now, it's first edition, same box. This is a utter collapse of a product. You can get free boxes for 142 of shipping. So it's probably, what what is it, free boxes. You can get four boxes for 242. I think a lot of these are $41, right? $45. Remember, eBay has something called a fee. So even though, assuming these shipping fees are realistic, right? Maybe some of them are shipping expedited because they don't want it to take no more space. This is by far the worst investment I've ever seen. I've never seen a box, a booster box, lose this much money this quickly. And you can talk about Magic the Gathering. You can call Carlo Manor. Um... This is real ugly, man. This is really, really ugly. Um, I've never seen a piece of financial advice outside of crypto. Which, oh, I've never seen, like, we have to give, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's imagine this is actually, like, he believes in the product at this time. Because why wouldn't he? His face is littered. I mean, previous to this, he was actually, what would he have? His crown eater promo, right? But this is really bad news, guys. These are not $100 a box anymore, obviously. Um, you can get 12 boxes for 7 11 and free shipping. 
And you can see like the box price is already in December or earlier. We're in February. You can I, I want to show you the box prices right after he made the video. So it's not even that big of an so in my opinion that the box is already going down in price. So you can see December 22nd, it was $46 a box. Um and it was not hundred dollars a box. So this is the worst piece of investment financial TCG advice I've ever seen. And it's not just the market. The market's been hot since then that that time, man. Not for MetaZoo, but for every other card game, it's been pretty good. Dual lands. The underground C at this time was four hundred dollars. Today the buy list is six hundred and twenty. It's a gain of fifty percent. It's not bad. More than 50%. Ain't bad, right? For a magic card that's supposed to be stale and dead, right? Old cards being dead. I disagree, man. I disagree. And if you want to sell me your Underground Sea for $620, I'm happy to buy it. If you want to sell me your Native for $100, I don't think there is one idiot on this market who would buy Native for $100. Right? And, and truly, it is a, um opportunity to miss. You could buy NVIDIA, S&P 500. You could buy real estate. You could buy a shit ton of things to go up in price. But the one thing that didn't go up in price was native boxes, man. And I, it's almost like he has these boxes in bulk. Oh, he does. Right, he's a partner. Uh, just bundle over a Rudy promo, Rudy, and see what happens, man. May, maybe do a 6.9 and then the uh, and then advertise all your magic fans that it's a mystery box magic mystery box and then the main uh, winner will get nine play mats of meta zoo <laughs> like this was a epically bad piece of advice guys i told you guys about it at the time the comments were still very pro meta zoo this is before the michael dell character basically tanked at the company <laughs> i mean not the company needed much thanking but uh, i mean he obviously was uh He's, he's gonna he's gonna do it. He's gonna shoot the, the uh, shoot the a hole into the ship, so the ship thinks sinks faster. I was actually a little surprised. Um, I was actually very surprised to see it happen that fast. I assumed it would take uh, a long period of time. That's what I would assume for MetaZoo to eventually be exposed, but. When the CEO, Mike Wardell, is ready to go ahead and call it quits and take everyone down with him. Well, I mean, that, that makes my life a lot more simpler, right? I mean, your own CEO, your own CEO is is telling you this game is, is going to fail. Yeah, you need, you need someone else, right? I mean, I mean, who else do you need? So anyway, this is by far... Uh, one of the worst, MetaZoo as a whole is one of the worst investments for any TCG. But as a specific investment that collapsed recently, I gotta give to Rudy Chan for his native advice. Hopefully no one bought because liquidity at the time was low. Something Alpha Investment never talks about even though he says, what is a Commander Master up? Well, I mean Commander Master sold Rudy. One? Like, okay. So I guess to spike any set, one dude's got to just overpay. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? 